Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. Um, before I get started, uh, it was pointed out to me that by me just giving the total including shipping on every item was a little bit confusing. Um, first of all, I want to say I am getting rid of free shipping altogether. And the reason is I want to run um, larger sales. And the free shipping is kind of stopping me from doing that because I can't take 40% out of my shipping cost if it's included in the item or 50%. Um, I'll give you an example. If you have a $20 item and it costs you $4 to ship first class mail, um, you run a 40% sale, that item comes to $12 the buyer is going to pay. But if you have a broken $16 plus $4 shipping, that buyer is going to pay $9.60 for the item, it goes from $16 to $9.60 plus four dollar shipping so it brings it up to 1360 so you gain a dollar 60 on that item and you know when it's that low that dollar 60 counts for a lot so if you're making four dollars for the item or five dollars and sixty cents that adds up um also uh if you say well you know you can run a different sale on that free shipping first of all that takes time and it's it's more thought than i want to put into running that sale um Two, if you want to get the same profit, uh, instead of doing a 40% off on that $20 free shipping item, you'd have to do 32% off. Um, that would bring you to that same $13.60. And that just, it just doesn't look as good. I, I like those higher sales. The bigger the sale, the more uh, action I'm getting on the item. And by removing the free shipping and running better sales on the item, bringing it to the same profit, basically, that I was getting, um, I do not see any difference in my sales. It doesn't seem to be slowing me down. It's kind of the opposite. And also something else happened that is kind of interesting. I'm getting more interest from international buyers because um, they basically, when they're buying a free shipping item, they're paying for the shipping within the United States and then they're paying for the shipping to themselves because you incorporate it into the item. Um, so for the international buyers, this is really a, a bonus to them. So if you had an item, $20 free shipping, and it cost them $15 to get it to, say, Canada or something, um, they're paying $35. But if you have 16 plus shipping, that same item for them is costing $31. So they save $4 right there. So I am noticing more questions from international buyers, a few sales. I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but I have to kind of assume it does because the item is now cheaper for them now that I removed the free shipping. So it's just something to think about. You know, I thought it might be interesting. I'll let you know how it goes because I just started. Um, so anyway, when I'm telling you um, the cost of the item, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I paid. I'm going to tell you the exact amount the item shipped for, like this coat, I mean, sold for. This coat sold for uh, $39.99. Um, and then I'm going to give you the grand total, what the buyer uh, actually paid. So the grand total will be what they paid for the item, including the shipping. So uh, this might be a repeat. I'm sorry if it was in a different video, um, but it's worth repeating if it was because it was a good sale. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren coat. I picked this up at um, Goodwill. It had made it to the um, 50 cent sale. I don't know how it made it to the 50 cent sale. Um, it was in perfect condition. It was a size 46 uh, short. It was a wool coat. And uh, it sold for $39.99. And with shipping, the buyer paid $49.89. This is a pair of men's Jordan Craig jeans. I never heard of Jordan Craig. I only picked them up because they were such a large size and they were so cheap. I had them for a while. Um, I picked them up at a Salvation sale that does not exist anymore for a dollar. And they sold for $19.99. And with shipping, the buyer paid $30.04. All right, this is a Maxima a leather jacket. Uh, again, this I had this for a while. There was a condition issue with one of the sleeves. The leather just was a little off on one of the sleeves. Even still, I only paid a dollar. It sold for $10. And with shipping, the buyer paid $17.19. And where's the tag? I'll show you the tag. Wilson's. I think some of the Wilson's leather jackets sell pretty good, but obviously not with a flaw like that. 
Okay, this is Dr. McGillicuddy. I just thought it looked like a cool sweatshirt. It was super clean. It looked like it was brand new. Didn't even look it up. It was only 50 cents at a Goodwill sale. And I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid in total shipping $17.20. Okay, this is a pair of Bruno Mogli shoes. And whenever it says Italy, I wasn't familiar with the name. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I looked it up a while ago. I don't. You can look it up yourself. I don't remember uh, what they were selling for in general, um, but it obviously was pretty good. I picked it up. Um, I paid five dollars for it. Um, the shoes sold for twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents, and the buyer paid in total with shipping forty dollars and seventy-two cents. Okay, this is a Brooks Brothers rugby polo shirt. I paid $4.50 for this and it sold for $15.99 and I did have free shipping on this. So the grand total was $15.99. Okay, Dr. Scholl's, you should look out for these, these uh, wooden Dr. Scholl's sandals. I don't even think this was a vintage pair because I don't think they were. I didn't write vintage because I actually wasn't quite sure, but they usually sell really well. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill for three dollars and it sold for $29.99 and the buyer with shipping paid $37.19. Okay. Oh, I also want to explain something else because um, uh, the same person I was a little confused by the way I was stating how I was saying the total said how come like the shipping was showing a lot lower like the total seemed more than the total price than what was showing and the shipping. Because the shipping being shown here is the shipping to me. They're not showing me what my buyer paid for the shipping. They're like, if you bought this, you would be paying $7.80 because it's it's right here. Um, so don't look at the shipping that's on here. Uh, a lot of these people are like from California, so this could be like $15 they paid. But anyway, um, I just want to explain that in case it was confusing for you. All right, the, this is a pair of Cole Hans. I picked these up because they were only $3 and they had a pretty, you know, this is patent leather. So this chunk out of the toe to me was a little severe. However, I was curious. I wanted to see what it would sell for. So if you ever see these and they're in perfect condition, you'll get nice money for it. But I picked it up only for $3 and I put it out and I put the flaw in the title and I put the flaw in the item condition notes and I put that there's a flaw in the description so definitely without a doubt like if you have a flaw like that put it in the title put it everywhere so they can't get it and say yeah but I didn't see how could you not see it it's everywhere <laughs> so, so definitely you know paste it everywhere in your auction that there's a flaw um, but it did sell for $19.99 plus shipping so the buyer in total paid $27.79 and with that flaw. So I do, depending on the items, I, I do pick them up with flaws. Now if a pair of Clarks had that same flaw, I would not pick it up. But a pair of Cole Haan or Allen Edmonds or something like that, I, and it's really cheap, I would definitely pick it up because people are, they do buy it with the flaws. Okay, this is a pair of Born shoes. Um, I paid five dollars for these. Let me see, do I have a picture of the? Nope. Okay, so I paid five dollars for them, and they sold for nineteen ninety nine. And the buyer, with shipping, paid thirty two dollars and seventy four cents. This is a Brooks Brothers pair of penny loafers for women. They were $3 at the Salvation Army and they sold for $19.99 and with shipping the buyer paid $27.59. Alright, this was a pair of whoops, sorry. This is a pair of Levi's signature Capri jeans. Um, they I've had them for a while. I paid a dollar for them at the sale at Salvation. Eventually, I just kept lowering it and they sold for $8.75 and the buyer paid $15.95 with shipping. All right, this was just a cute little short sleeve blouse from IZOD. It was only $0.50 cents at the um, Goodwill and I sold it for $14.99 
and it was free shipping. So the buyer paid $14.99, which is really pretty good because the shipping, it was so light. It was like $2.77. So I made about $10 on 50 cents. So, and it was like new and they were really happy. They left very good feedback. So if the design is cute enough, I don't think I'd look for eyes on blouses, but if it's cute enough, I'd pick it up. All right, this is a pair of Keen hiking shoes. Always look for Keen. Keen are wonderful sellers. I love this brand. And uh, this was $4 at the Goodwill. And it sold for $31.99. And the buyer with shipping paid $44.74. Okay, this is something I picked up a long time ago, which I would never get it again it was jones new york it was just a, it was a wool jacket so i thought for a dollar i would pick it up but i had it for a very very long time uh, eventually i sold it for seven dollars and with shipping because it was heavy it was wool the buyer paid nineteen dollars and 75 cents okay this was great this is a floor shine ankle boot um with a boot like this you want to use like beatnik rockabilly those are great keywords for a boot like this um, I paid $8 for this at the Goodwill and it sold for $59.99 and the buyer with shipping paid $67.79. Okay, um, I think that's all I have for eBay and we'll go over to Etsy. All right, the first item I have on Etsy is uh, two M&M mugs. Um, they were from 1997. I did have these on eBay for a while, and then I started to build up Etsy. Uh, no one was interested in them on eBay. Um, but on Etsy, uh, they, I paid $0.98 cents for them, and on Etsy they sold for $14.99. With shipping, the buyer paid $23.69. Okay, this is a shorthand book from 1919. And... You can say it's very very old <laughs> and I, it was only a quarter at a church sale and I thought I could get it like ten dollars but I couldn't get ten dollars and eventually I sold it for $4.99 and with shipping the buyer paid eight dollars and ninety nine cents and this is a eight bamboo napkin rings this came in a big bag from Goodwill of uh, napkin rings and I, it was a dollar each it broke down to a dollar each and this is one of them um this sold for 9.99 with shipping the buyer paid 22 dollars and 50 cents okay and this is a vintage light cover it's like a milk i wasn't sure i'm very confused what is milk glass what is white glass what i don't know how to tell the difference so i kind of put one or the other and kind of tell people I'm really not sure judge for yourself because <laughs> I'm not really sure um, this I paid a dollar for at a church sale it sold for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents and the buyer paid twenty three dollars and fifty four cents with shipping this kind of proves you can sell anything <laughs> I have no idea what this was because it was so funny I just picked it up it's a cup with a rat on it wearing a captain hat saying river rat it's like a ceramic cup you can see like there's a lot going on I'm so happy because I could have showed a lot actually it probably was sold a little bit quicker if I could have shown more pictures I'm so happy Etsy is allowing more pictures now because it's so much better um but anyway this lovely rat cup I paid 49 cents for sold for $9.99 and uh, the buyer with shipping um, paid $17.59. All right, the last item is a vintage Myers Rum Mr. Matt. Uh, it's like a wall hanging uh, thing, I don't know. I'm not sure what it was meant for originally, um, but if you look, most of them have soda, like it'll be like Pepsi and Coke and different things. I couldn't find Myers rum anywhere. So I was the only one who had this. So if somebody wanted it, I had it. And it was only $2.99 at the Goodwill. Sometimes when they, they mark things so high and then sometimes they'll put something like this out for like two or $3. And I don't understand what they're thinking, but 
this was huge. It was 70 inches tall by 35 inches wide. So this was really big. I thought it would be great in a bar or man cave. So those are keywords you definitely want to use. And so I only paid $2.99 for it. And it sold for $39.99. And with shipping, the because this was kind of big, the uh, buyer paid $63.84 for shipping. So that was a great sale. And that's all I have for today. And I hope you enjoyed the video and your sales are going great. And I will see you next time.